Create 1 million will help you hit way more headshots in game and it actually makes CS2 feel more responsive as the command increases the amount of data you get from the CS2 servers. Last time we made this video was nearly two years ago and since then there's been a lot of new commands added to the game that are very helpful. First, to enable your developer console, go to settings, game, then click yes on enable developer console. Now to bring it up, press the tilde key on your keyboard. With this command you can decrease the sound delay in CS2, which is very important as you can hear steps and different noises much faster. I personally have mine set to 0.001, which is 1 millisecond delay. I bet many of you didn't know this, but you can actually change the width of your scoped crosshair. The command is CL underscore crosshair sniper width, and the default value is 1, but I have mine personally set to 3. Whenever you're in a smoke, you may find it difficult to navigate around, so many pros actually use a bind that zooms in their radar and then zooms it back out again. To bind it, you want to type each of these commands one by one in the console. On the last command, just make sure to change the letter V to whatever other letter you want to bind it for. For all of you players who still miss CSGO, you can actually make CS2 look more like CSGO by typing this command and setting it to 2.5. Here's a side by side comparison. To increase your FPS in game, you can also use this command and set it to true. For all the CS2 players who don't have a knife and you want to try some out in game, you can hop in a private lobby, enable SV underscore cheats1, then enable the drop knife command, drop your knife on the floor and now type subclass underscore change 515. When you go to pick up your knife, you'll realize there's actually a butterfly knife. If you want to try any other knives in game, the codes are all on the screen for you to use. But if you did want to get yourself a nice knife like me, you can just use Skins Monkey. With Skins Monkey, you can trade your skins quick and easy for better prices than the Steam market. You also get up to $5 for free by using code MEDIA and a 35% bonus for any cash deposits. Machine, it's super simple to use. Pick the skins you don't want, pick the skins you do want, and trade. And if you're poor like me, you can enter the daily, weekly, and monthly giveaways to potentially win yourself some skins. And guys, if you have any problems, just ask the 24-7 support team for some help and they'll definitely give you some. Are you serious right now, bro? Thank you, Skins Monkey, for sponsoring this video. If you ever wondered how to remove this text in the bottom left of your screen, you can just type R show build info false and this will get rid of it. Most players in CS use an extremely low sensitivity and there's actually a bind that allows you to turn 180 degrees instantly. First, we need to do a quick calculation. You need to multiply the sensitivity you use in game by 0 0.022 then you need to divide 180 by this number. Now hop into your console, write bind n or any other letter you want to use. Speech marks your, the number you just calculated, 1, 1. Speech marks. Now every time you press n, you'll instantly do half a turn. The last command on this list is actually three commands and they're all used to change the position of your gun. But instead of typing them out one by one, you can just hop into this map because it does everything for you in the game. We now need to set up an auto execute file to remember all the commands and binds just used in game. Otherwise, if you restart your game and load back in, most of the binds wouldn't have saved. What you want to do is open up a notepad in Windows and add any of the binds from the description to the notepad. Make sure at the very end you also write host underscore write config, which basically just helps CS2 run the commands. Now save this notepad to your desktop as autoexec.cfg. You want to now go to Steam, right click Counter Strike, Manage, then Browse Local Game Files, click on the game folder, and then on CSGO, then on CFG, and now you just want to drag the file from your desktop into your folder. Thanks to all our channel members, if you guys have any other console commands, make sure to drop them in the comments.